Hey agents, it's LZ789 with another build video. This is going to be my grenade demolitionist explosion build. This build is really good for ad clear and it's just a really fun build to use. But yeah, let's go right into it. We're using the demolitionist specialization with the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is really good because it has a big AoE and does massive damage. Can get you out of some tough spots. And also the demolitioner uh, comes with 10% explosion damage, which is perfect because we're gonna toss grenades the whole time. Then on it I use a lefty shotgun with shotgun damage, damage to armor and damage to target out of cover. And this one comes with the perfect sledgehammer talent. Dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark to the target. And the target uh, with the mark will have 40% more damage to armor and minus 30% movement speed. And the mark will disappear after 10 seconds. So yeah, with this build we're gonna toss grenades the whole time. And when you hit an enemy he will take 40% extra damage to armor and will be slowed. So yeah this one's, will, this one's perfect. We're just gonna uh, toss the grenade, have the shotgun in your hand and it will apply the, the mark. Then also I use the Ouroboros SMG, you can use any gun, I just like a high damage gun uh, to kill the enemies. Uh, you can also try Chameleon or Lady Dead, but I like the Ouroboros just to kill the enemies quick. This one comes with SMG damage, crit chance and damage to target out of cover. And it comes with the rule them all talent. When the agent has a status effect applied to them, 50% of the ammo in their next magazine will apply the same status effect to their targets. And the effect will only occur during combat. So like I said, this is just to kill the enemies quickly, uh, just a high damage gun, it's not really important, just use any gun you like. Then also I use the tar uh, TDI card custom, with pistol damage and skill tier. And that skill tier is only activated when you have the pistol in your hand, but I like the extra skill tier because we're not at max skill tier with this build. This one also comes with the optimist uh, talent, weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the mag, and maximum you can do 30% increased damage. Quit chance, rounds, quit chance, or quit damage. This one has quit damage, reload, quit chance, and fire weight. And this one has reload speed, quit chance, and quit chance. So that's all the weapons. Let's go over the gear. I'm using a China Lights Industry. And if you have one, you get 15% explosion damage, which is perfect. This one comes with the skill tier, skill damage, armor regen, and skill haste. Now for the backpack, this is a special backpack. It's the festive delivery backpack. This way you can get usually uh, around Christmas and then the loot goblin will drop it. But yeah, this is a special item you can only get um, at certain times. You can't always get this. You can't even craft it. You need to fight the loot goblin uh, usually around Christmas. This one comes with weapon damage, armor regen, skill damage, and skill haste. And it has the fireworks show. Concussion grenades become festive grenades. Hitting an enemy with uh, a festive grenade will cause the explosion to happen around two other enemies with 20 meters. So basically, you, we throw one grenade at the enemy, trigger the perfect sledgehammer, and then that one enemy will spread the grenade to two nearby enemies. So one grenade turns into three grenades. It's, it's pretty amazing, and it looks really fun. There's fireworks happening uh, all over the map. And uh, you, sh you see in the... In the in the gameplay later, how, how to really use this. This one comes also uh, with the contractor gloves, with LMG damage, which is not important. A skill tier, damage to armor and skill damage. And to my calculations, the damage to armor does actually uh, affect the grenades. So that's perfect. Uh, then I have a, the collector chest piece, with weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage and skill haste. And this one comes with a hoarder talent. Your max grenade capacity is increased by 3. Your grenade radius is increased by 50, and the grenade damage is increased by 35, and then um, plus 25 grenade damage for each extra enemy caught in the blast, and automatically regenerate a grenade every 30 seconds if you have less than two grenades in your inventory. So when you go really low on grenades, you will regen your grenades automatically, and this build's really good for spawn killing. So if you know where the enemies spawn, you just throw a grenade, and then you get that extra 25% damage per enemy in the blast area. So yeah, you just gotta melt them, it's really fun. Um, then also I have a Grupo Somba, because we have the Grupo Backpack, that comes with crit damage. The second Grupo gives you 20% exp uh, explosive damage. And this one comes with skill tier, skill haste, and skill damage. And I have a fox of sprayers with rifle damage, which is not important. Skill tier, and also through my calculations, the damage to target out of cover also includes your grenade. So if an enemy is right in the open, you can just throw a grenade and he gets extra damage. And this one comes with crit chance. You can also try, instead of a crit chance, you can try armor regen or skill damage. But the crit chance is pretty nice to kill the enemies quicker. So that's all the gear and the weapons. Let's go over the skills really quick. I'm using Cluster Seeker Mine with the number of 
mines is 8. Uh, skill damage, damage, uh, an extra cluster mine, another damage mod. And I have a shock trap. This one comes with 12 traps, with duration and shock duration. You can also try the, the foam launcher. We're just using the skill to make the enemies stand still in a big area, and then the seekers can roll up to them, they can't move from it, and we can throw an easy grenade on them. So that's why I like the shock trap, to make the whole area uh, just slowed, and you can just easily throw the grenades. Because the problem with the grenades is they will dodge away from the grenades, but if they're shocked, they can't dodge away. So yeah, you will see in the gameplay how, how to really use this. Then let's go over the stats. Perfect sledgehammer, rule them all. And with the perfect sledgehammer, you just need to equip the shotgun, then throw a grenade. You don't even have to shoot with a gun. Uh, just throwing grenades will trigger the sledgehammer. Optimist, grenade launcher, weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, headshots, armor damage, uh, reload speed, all damage, shotgun damage. The fireworks show, it's really fun. Hoarder, all these stats, 800,000 armor. 9000 regen, hazard protection, the seeker mine, uh, uh, two million, almost 3 million damage for the seeker mines, pretty good. And the trap stats. So yeah, I hope you guys like the builds. If you have any questions, write them in the comments because I, rep I will reply to every single comment. But yeah, LSD 789. Oh yeah, and I will put in some gameplay now. I am out. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Moving up now. Medical assistance needed.
Armor hostile detected. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Guarding location nearby. Reinforcements incoming. assistance needed. Supply room access. Unlocked. Last 
radio contact with Espinoza came from a parking garage close to the Shade Node. Isaac has the location. Radio intercepted. We're under attack! Intruders at the east entrance! Then kill them! Look for a way down to the garage and see if you can pick up Espinosa's trail. He tends to leave a mess. You're near Espinosa's last known position. The Shade Node should be close.
Credentials. Authenticate. There should be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node. Authorization granted. Please stand by. Intelligent system analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue your sweep of the complex. Hostile radio intercepted. Hello? Is this the division? Looking for someone? Who is this? How are you on this channel? Friendly Lord gave me a real nice wrist watch. He's right here. Wanna talk to him? <laughs> Back to make a deal. You back off, we'll deliver him unharmed. Mostly. They'll keep him alive. They aren't stupid. Just find that hyena piece of shit and wait.
Agent Vital Signs, zero. He didn't have to die here. <laughs> yet go after her.
nothing you could have done for Espinoza. That fucking hyena was toying with us. en route. Detecting additional hostile contacts.
Supply room access unlocked. 